Hey guys, um, today I thought I would show a little trick that sometimes I do. Um, instead of using having to use like a compass or any other rulers and all that jazz, you can make a mandala from a stencil, like an existing stencil you have. Um, and I'm showing it right there where I'm not exactly um, using every part of it, like I'm not tracing the entire stencil. I'm using little bits and pieces so that I can kind of give myself a grid. Um, like maybe part of the leaf or just a little section of it um, as I go along. Sometimes I even just put dots, as you can tell right there, to just give me um, something to start from to be able to create my mandala. This is something that's kind of fun to do. You don't feel like measuring and, uh, you know, you're just not the type like me. <laughs> I want to get into it and do the artwork I don't want to mess around with all that fancy stuff. So <clears throat> I'm showing here how I do that. And um, as I go along, the video in real time was like 40 some minutes. It was really long. And I still didn't completely finish it. So at the end, I'm going to show a picture of the completed mandala. Zendala, I guess you could call it, whatever. Um, because the video was just so, so long, I sped it up. Because who wants to watch me draw for 40 some minutes? I don't know, I mean, yeah, well, I kind of, maybe some people do, but I didn't want to upload 40 some minutes of video because that would have took forever. So you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing there. You don't have to be perfect. Like, uh, I wanted kind of a free form but not too free form, so that's why I used a stencil. And just with that one certain stencil, you could get like a million different probably designs from it. And I would have probably drew a few and shown all of them, but I've been having terrible tendonitis in my arm from too much drawing, um, too much uh, color pencil work, I think. So I, I only did this one. So you, you'll get the idea. But, you know, find a stencil, use the existing one you got. It doesn't even have to be in a circle. Um, right there, I, oh, I wanted to add some circles, so I just didn't want to freehand it. I So I used that, but that was totally not necessary. It's just something I grabbed and picked up uh, that was sitting there. That is that little um, doohickey thing. You can make mandalas with that if you want to get real super fancy and grid-like, but it takes like forever. It takes forever to finish it. I mean, to get the grid going, to be able to even draw the design, and I'm not doing all that that often. That is not fun to me. So, um, so see right there, I just kind of went with the flow, and I know right now it doesn't look like much. But as I go along and add detail and add shading, all the shading and all that work isn't going to be pictured in this video. Um, the end result, the complete end result is going to be shown at the very end of the video, like I said. But um, I have other videos that show how I make um, gems and uh, colored gems from uh, like in the middle. I'm going to put a colored gem right in the middle. I have videos showing how I do that, so I will link them in the description to give you an idea um, because I don't show any color pencil work at all in this video. I just, I ran out of time. I just wanted to kind of show how easy and fun it can be when you don't have to do a big old fancy grid. And I probably could have got real specific and all that, but I wanted this to be whimsical and, and um, you know, just kind of light and airy looking. So um, I hope you like this idea. I hope it sparked your imagination. And uh, make sure, don't, don't like just stop now and say eh. Make sure you go to the very, very end and see my finished product. Um, I hope you like the video. If you're not a subscriber yet, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And uh, I would love it if you hit that like button. That really does help. So I'm um, trying to grow this channel. So letting me know you like this video will keep me going. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.